Nothing like some Jujutsu Kaisen first thing or second thing in the morning. What's up guys? Here we are to do a live reaction to chapter 300, I'm kidding, 185 of Jujutsu Kaisen, which is known as Tokyo it's probably some colony number, or whatever. I don't think it's gonna get a special, <laughs> special name, not gonna lie. However, let's hop right into it. Anything big, ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, stop this, go away. Go away. Your body is so empty. Ow, your body's so empty. Stop hitting me, your body's so empty. Stop it. All right. I already, I already saw the major spoiler for the end of this chapter, unfortunately. But I'm interested with this other stuff, so I don't know what this is. Big sister, big brother is mean, okay. Oh, so that so that's a Triceratops that showed up last time. I had no idea what that was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't comment in last week's live reaction. I just thought it was like something weird. It was like a chameleon or something. I had no idea that maybe it is a chameleon. No, nah, it looks like a, specifically looks like a Triceratops. Why'd you bully Panda? I didn't. It's just a game of weed pulling. Oh, really? Then Panda should get a turn next, right? Fine, Panda. You gotta fight back sometimes. So these are the three siblings that live within the main body of Panda. Interesting. Okay, Panda, Gory Coon. Darn! <laughs> Slobber not that man. This is once again, I mean, like, this isn't necessarily out of Gege's art style, but in a much, in a very similar vein to Hakari's domain. Like, this just doesn't look like a thing that Gege typically draws. I know he's having fun. Together, always. I wonder what that is. Or are these three Yaga's kids? Did he have, did he have like triplets or something? Or just like three kids that all died and then he, ah. Oh, that'll explain why he's so invested in Panda. Oh, don't follow us, why not? You don't know how to ride a bike, you'll just get in the way. But I do know how. You have the slow coach training wheels on. Whisper, whisper. So they, so they seem to be somewhat in the garden. That garden place that Yaga made for, um, Kusakabe's, well not, not just Kusakabe's, but like all of the cursed corpses, but I supposedly remember it being brought up with Kusakabe's sister when she lost her son to Kato. so, that's nice, and how about this, if you throw the ball into the river, I'll let you join us, but Santa gave me this kid's club, at the kid's club, Santa's not real, yeah, he's just some useless old man, throw it, throw it one more time, um, yeah. Why'd you throw it? Oh. Wasn't that ball an important gift from Santa? That's so what you can throw away. Are you stupid? Because I want to play with my big brother. I right, no offense. I no. Let me not say. <laughs> I, was to, I was about to say something that I shouldn't say. So yeah, they're just like a little happy family. Gory. No matter what you say, have to say for yourself. You went overboard today, all right? There's the difference between you bullying him and other kids bullying him. When the latter happens, you're the one who needs to protect him. You are his big brother. So this is always playing with the girl, so you don't get it. When Panda's there, I can't have any fun. He always wants to team up with me. But being on a team with him always means losing. Haven't you noticed that he always checks if you're there before crying? Huh? He's too cushy. It's annoying. No matter what you do to Panda, he always acts like nothing happened the next time we eat together. That kid doesn't get angry at you or hold a grudge. He just thinks that's how his brother should be. Oh, well, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Let's see. Aren't you the one acting spoil when Panda forgives everything you do? Big brother, look, there's a big stab beetle on the window screen. Where's the bug case again? This is a Dorcas Titanus. I, 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 like, I wish I had more reactions to this stuff, but these are, like, gory and big sis are, like, two entirely new characters and this seems like a baby pen. I'm like, I'm kind of just reading backstory right now so I don't know much to comment on. Coins. 100 should be enough, right? Close that ball here. I'm like, this way just an idiot after all. All these ads! Glory, glory, wake up. Oh, Yaga. Say goodbye to Panda. What? Well, no reason. How long? Forever. Oh, golly! Big brother, big sister. Wherever are you? Tell me, Panda, no. 
because right now he's a little gorilla listening to me. He's a slow runner. He's not good at games or playing ball. Sometimes he wants to play, but he can't survive without me. He sucks at everything. I can't leave him behind by myself. That's not a gorilla. The ones who are being left behind are us. What? Let him go. You're his big brother, right? Right, but the balls when I want to buy it, nothing will be the same for us either without him. Look at all this time, the one who talks to the store employees for us is. Oh. So I'm guessing that's Yaga saying the two died. And that kind of just leaves Panda as the only core that's intact. Unfortunate. I didn't receive any points, that means he's not dead yet. I to read the expression of a panda, that's not good. Spit it out, where's the co But like, what if you ripped out his throat? Like, how do you, man? Dude, you kind of like, annihilated his entire body. Like, reason, I mean, I guess that's like fluff and stuff. That's not real panda blood or anything. But, dude, he's a head. You kind of need the rest of this to speak. Like, I'm not going to choke myself live on air. But legitimately, come on now. Come on now, Kashime. Or Hajime. A panda's, sorry, a panda's jaw is very tight. I see. I'll make sure you never open it again. I I, I kind of really like Hajime. I'm not going to lie. Like, the, I see. I'll make sure you never open it again. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Did you lose some weight, Panda? Hakari. Oh, don't you get me, don't you, don't you get me too excited. A feverish entrance. Did you lose some weight, Panda? Alright. <laughs> wow. Imagine getting low dipped that badly that you had to get low dipped off screen. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Imagine being Bernard. Could not be me. Okay, so essentially this whole chapter is simply so I, I thought now notably I thought this was in the past but considering we know the three cores coexist maybe this is in the present maybe because like Yaga shows up not as himself well they call him dad so I'm assuming that's Yaga right but Yaga doesn't show up as he normally does he shows up like, the, yeah, it's even the glasses and the mustache and everything. There has to be Yaga. So, is this just... So, like, was this simulated life it's just something that they were living in inside of Panda? And then as Panda was losing and being destroyed, they both left because both of the cores got destroyed and that left only the Panda core. And that's why Panda's crying, but is left. Like, he's still there and able to speak, even though the rest of him is torn apart. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's it. I'm not exactly sure of the time for because because yeah, I think this all has to be in the present. Notably, because because I mean, I'm not sure, does Gage do it too? I don't. I can't remember the top of my head of Gage. I said, yeah, he does. He does because I believe the Gojo Past arc has all. But why are you screaming, computer? But the Gojo Past arc has all black panels too. So I'm assuming, considering this is all white panels, this is the modern day. Yeah. Oh. It's a oh wow. A unique chapter title. I just realized that. Bye bye. Together always. So I'm assuming these are Yaga's three kids. And then internally, this is their relationship. Panda usually in control. Gori and then Sister Coon. But then I wonder what all these other spirits are in here. But okay, so we see living, living, living. Then Yaga comes to take them away. Because Yaga's dead, <laughs> unfortunately. But that means, I guess he can somewhat interact with the things he created. So, thusly, he's coming to take them away. And with that being the case, they're all going to the afterlife. Because <laughs> they're, cause their cores are destroyed and Yaga's dead. That's unfortunate. I, just, I wish I could say something more than that, but like I said, we don't know Gorilla Coon. Like, the sister, that's that's actually, I hope they, like, if they die, I hope their powers just transcend into Base Panda. So we can actually see some more of their abilities. Like, I did like Gorilla Panda, and we literally got nothing of sister. Like, the Triceratops did nothing because of Hajime being broken. So, unfortunately, I'd greatly prefer if something 
something happened. Like, Panda definitely needs an amp. Unless he's just removed from the narrative and just going to be, like, a talking head. Like, you know how in God of War for PS4, like, Kratos literally just takes Vimir's head and puts it around his waist? Like, uh, unless that's going to... Unless Panda's going to become Hokari's accessory, I don't really... I don't really see how he's going to stay in the narrative. Something about to fix that. But Yaku's dead. How, how is he going to get patched up now? He, yeah, I think he's. I think it's literally a GG for Panda. If he's not dead in the literal sense, he's dead in the metaphorical sense. He doesn't have a body. Big rips to Panda, I guess. However, obviously the thing I'm more interested in. Hikari versus Hajime, a battle of the H's. I guess this is this does confirm the idea that I had that Hikari can't just go away, crate and barrel. But... This does confirm the idea that I had that Akari will keep his buffs even once his domain shuts down, which is good to know. I wonder how long they last. And two, it seems like his buff, he, it looks like he was like cheating against Bernard. Like he just kept, like I bet Bernard was just in there getting abused. <laughs> and Akari was like, nah, I need another one. Nah, I need another one. Nah, I need another one. No, it just kept running jackpots up and kept stacking him because that is a huge stream of fire recursed energy. So it looks like we're going to get fever, fire, temperature versus electricity. And I wonder how those two are going to work out. But overall, pretty excited for the next chapter. This chapter, do I call it, dare I say it's mid? <laughs> no, I can't, I'm not going to call it mid. It's not, it's not mid. But like, a majority of this chapter has no impact to it because I don't know two of the characters that are getting taken away. Sure, I feel bad for Panda. And obviously this image is uh, some little bit different. But at the same time, it's like, Don characters being taken away from their kind of main character. I don't know. I never, I, I'll admit, out of all the characters we've gotten so far, the only character I'm less invested in from our first and second year cast is like Inumaki. Because Inumaki hasn't had anything in forever, other than the loss of his arm. But Panda, like, care about Maki more, care about Megami, Itadori, Nobora. Like, I care about all of them more. So none of this, none of this means anything to me emotionally. But. W for Akari being able to come in and save the day. Right. Those are my thoughts. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share. Well, one thing I automatically, I automatically go to my outro. But thank you guys so much for being patrons. I really appreciate all the support you guys give. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is that on the pencil. Riding off.